Hello and welcome to Taik. I'm Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to build the first ever app in Power Apps. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power Apps page in powerapps.com. I logged in here and this is my home screen. Now let's have a look at the data first. So this is the excel file in google drive google sheet here whereas i have this personal expense too on the file name and it has the trial state type amount and remarks these are some records here now let's connect this in power bi i mean power apps so so far i've done everything in power bi now this is the first app they are making in power apps and in future video we will try to integrate this app in power bi so this home screen now these are data source available here the google sheet is not available here so click on other data sources now here i have this connection here already i had it for earlier but it is not this excel file now to get that i need to click here new connection and then here it gives me all the data sources here here is the google sheet so clicking here I need to click on create here. Connect to Google Sheet to manage your spreadsheet. You can create, edit, and collaborate with others on a spreadsheet. So click create. It is just asking for me to give the rights. So this is my user ID here. Clicking on that. So it can get the permission from there. And now it has created this one. From if you click here and it will list out all the Excel files which is available to that. So now here I'm going to select the personal expense to here. By clicking here, it is asking me from which table I need to select from that. Here it is the sheet one with the sheet name. So I'm going to click on sheet one. So click connect at the right bottom and it is creating an app for you. The animation is looks good. Yeah. Fortunately, the color of the shirt which I'm wearing is matching to Power App. Hmm. So welcome to Power App Studio. Start customizing your app or preview your app. So see your preview of this app. Click here. So this is the list of records which is available on Google Sheet. If I click on the run here on the top right, or you can press F5 as well. So click here, it will show up in complete screen so this is the expense here 1200 on 1200 is down 3rd of jan here and then 2 to 2 is lunch for 2nd of jan so it is also here whereas if you notice this earlier when you see this excel file there are only four columns now it has created one more column by power apps entering as power app id this is auto generated id by power apps itself so now here is a list of you. Now if you want to add one record, so you can click here the plus sign. It will give this amount here. I want to add some record. So 500 is for the dinner. And this trans date, I want to add 3rd of, 3rd of March 2021. And the type is for the food. So once type this one, click commit now. So this has been added here and let's go into Excel file. See, a new record is added here. This is so cool, right? I have not done even a single line of code. I just connected this Google Sheet to Power Apps and it has done everything by Power Apps itself. This is the power of the Power Apps. Not only that, you can customize everything whatever you can so this is the first screen and this is a detailed screen if you want to click on any one record it will open up here so let's rerun again so this is the one if we go back here if you click on any of this one so it will give you the detail list here so that's how it has created the three it has created three screens one is a browser screen it will give you all the list of the records one is detail screen for one record it will give you complete detail 
and this edit add screen it will work add edit update and delete everything will be added here now let's try that so add we have done now let's delete or edit some records in here i'm selecting this one now here other top right i have edit item now this is a travel by auto so click on update 300 on second of jan so it is done here let's have a look at this in google sheet yeah auto is added here now i'm going to go back here and clicking on this one 250 is a food on first of march i'm going to delete this it deleted from here let's here yeah wonder card has been removed from here this is so cool and then go to file here and here you have an option like settings and save and save as so in the settings i'm going to give it a name here personal expense 2 and you can change the color of the theme i'm going to select this one and you can also select the icon here so it is an expense here so i'm going to select a different icon something like uh, calendar yeah so you can make description as well personal expenses here and the screen orientation you want this to be landscape or portrait i want this to be in portrait so in advanced settings we have scale to fit scales the app to fit space available turning this off allows control layout adjust to the available space lock aspect ratio lock orientation is on and in advanced setting we have some options here so not going for the details in this video so clicking on save here this is the one and it's on the cloud or on this computer so i'm going to save this on the cloud for now so click on save so saving the apps it will take some time yeah everything has added here if you want to share you can also share this one as well so click on save us again and then click on this computer so apps download the files is ready you can click on downloads here so clicking on save as and save as you can see the extension is personal expense app 2 dot is ms app so microsoft app it is showing it as it will not export as an apk or ios app it will export at inside this power apps click on save so this is how you can able to connect to google sheet or any other data sources in power apps without any single line of code you can easily create an app in power apps if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it just click on the subscribe button if you are not yet a member of our channel just hit the join button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video